Computers hate me. Just give your victory. Na, 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 na. I don't know how it happened. Somebody hired me. <laughs> <laughs> what are you doing? Hello. <laughs> I heard you hurting yourself, and I was like, oh, no, I think it's it, camera stuff time. Stuff fell from my shelf up there and hit my head. I was like, what the chance did that happen? <laughs> That's amazing. Yeah, no, because I'm not even touching or rocking or anything. <laughs> oh, it's too close. A day in the life of an orc fraternity. Yes. Or oh, should we call it a day in the life of a Did we get a clear picture of the cobalt loop? Before yeah. Mm -hmm. We should call it <laughs> the day in the life of a, of a work bro. Yeah, there we go. The skeleton. Well, it sounds life. better. Day in the life of a work. Um, life in a fraternity. <laughs> oh, the real world. Round table meeting. We got to know what to write up here. Okay, it's everyone. very important for the game creation process that we come up with something witty that we can erase next week. Oh, uh, see. Oh, well, we already know that. We just need to follow the protocol. The laws of protocol. <laughs> okay. Here we go. The laws of protocol. There we go. Yeah. Laws of protocol. Of course, Jay Phil would be like, oh, they're talking about our, <laughs> our rules. They're based off of us. And we're like, no, just fail. This has nothing to do with you. But they do something about. Bro they're, they're kind of bro ish in like, the way they respond to each other. I Wait, imagine if they actually. The, I'm surprised all of their names aren't just in? dude. John is left-handed. Yes, it makes it really hard to write on a whiteboard. No, well, you guys have a what is it, twenty percent higher fatality rate? Because you're in a right-handed world. It's not made for you at all. So you have a lot more accidents. I'm pretty sure you proved that one wrong. Here we go. We're discussing the ancient laws of protocol now, Daniel. Oh, I'm an expert on that. So, okay, we start with hanging out, your, hanging out at, the, at the clubhouse. Uh, the first one is definitely beers, chillax. Is this is chillax, cool, right? So it's yep. a branch where everything's cool. John so has another, another kegger. If it's not cool, your your bro your bro rhodiums or whatever protocol is flawed. Right? Well, okay. It is too verbose so they, and they, they actually do a branch intelligently they based. Remember, they remember, like three like girl, steps three through seven right? is drink. Then, I think then, John has it right on the nose. Chillax. Dose In case you don't know, um, we're coming up with the AI. Oh. You know, the stuff where they have to choose a target, you know, maintain within their um, inner and outer ring areas, and um, do all that. So, coming up with a really interesting way to... Chillax. We had the day in the life of a cobalt, and that was... I saw that one. Yeah. So. Some chillax, and they just hang around. How about chug a lug? Yeah, chug. I'm telling you, uh, that's steps. Like drinking. Uh, that's like the Chugging? first chance before they actually drinking. see you play it. So that Chugging. would be actually the first thing. The first thing would be them chug a lugging, because that's when they, before they see the player at all. Then they see the player and they go with the chillax around the player, they're going to nah, woot. Yeah. Okay, okay. And then. They... Don't trust me, John. I'm just the token female. black. Black female. Not <laughs> anymore. anymore. Dun, 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 no, you said, I'm black, we pen over to Bernard and like, Korean. Well, Bernard's not really black, he's just a severely sunburned Korean. <laughs> okay. Chillax. Yeah, chug a lug on the chillax in the outer ring. 
And then it's bro, you're, you're harsh in my mellow. Be devoured, like, between <laughs> and and oh, the wasabi. Oh, no, we can't do the. Then you'll know it's a better brand. We have to um oh, carry the. They need to be and able saltier to see with the more umami. Yeah. So we need to be able to see the flair. Good. Ooh. Better than like Taco Bell or, or like John mm, tires of this. What else incessant we need? Incessant talking. Sorry. Continue. Oh, I'm just trying to think how the Chugalug <coughs> site. Oh, Dude. I'm trying to think about how they um choose Chillax. which ring to go around. Well, I know they're gonna have a period where the inner light. Why don't we make the ring kind Why don't of they go flare, reshaping, reshape around the two can you, like, like can you wait, the screen. How hard it would would it be to uh, to tell them to go after the character with the uh, lowest health? Beer. Or go, see, there's inner ring, there's outer ring. But if you have another player, right here, or alternatively, go after the player with the highest amount of health. Oh, that would, that's why I beat it down. Hi, Bernard. I'm Danielle. Hi. Nice to meet you. <laughs> He's working on a portrait right now. See, this is the problem. When the players no. have... Don't look at me. The problem is when the players have gotten close enough to each other that their rings overlap. Mm. <laughs> no problem. <laughs> well, what? Sounds like ah, a good plan stop. to me. Say you're or Got in the way right as, as, I, as I was focusing. <laughs> Yeah, that's yeah, a good idea. Yeah. Orc yeah. guy, and he's like, "Oh crap!" Yeah, like go? if they stand too close together, then they should just make the ring bigger. Yeah. Make it like encompass, like make the outer ring actually merge or something. Or why don't we just have the outer ring always be connected to the two players? Although that would, if they got to opposite sides of the screen, it would cause some issues with the orcs like trying to leave screen. But the main issue is here's little orc. Yeah, he's got to decide which player to follow, and he also has to know if he gets. If he's following this guy and he gets way over here, he's now part of this guy's inner ring. Does he change targets or does he move somewhere else? Does he move into the outer ring? Does he, he He's like that. He's got to be able to know. Well, I thought what we were doing it is like basically we're pulling from the outer ring to the inner ring whenever yeah. somebody gets killed. So why don't we just uh, have them like always have an outer Here's ring that's encompassing all characters and then whenever... If the player suddenly runs to the outer ring, the outer ring suddenly becomes the inner ring. Why would it do that? Why not just keep the outer ring reshaping based upon the player's movement? But the, the, this is the thing. When the players move, if they move amongst a group of enemies, suddenly those enemies are the, basically the player's inner ring. So the, oh. so the, so the, well, all the enemies have to restructure well, this yeah, they just, as the player's like, moving. Exactly. That's fine. That's what I was thinking. So the the problem, like, I'm trying to figure out how, what, what, how the AI will restructure itself. We'll just keep going skirting the outside edge of the circle. Let's say there's a circle and this guy's right here and it's going between the two because these are like, you know, this is one big mega circle and each other inner circle. And then so this guy's like, I'm gonna run over here now. And he's over here. Well, then this thing should just be like stretch out into a weird shaped penis looking thing, like a gooey duck. <laughs> You're not understanding. 